Hello everyone, Ronnie J here from Internet Radio Station. In this video, I want to talk about categories. If you are going to be running an Internet Radio Station using SAM Broadcaster, you want a way to organize your files. And it's very, very important to be organized. If you run a multi-faceted station, for example, let's say you run uh, Smooth Jazz, you play hip-hop, gospel, rock, all these on your radio stations at different times throughout the day, you want a way to organize your music. Now, Sam Broadcaster has a way of doing that, and it's a very neat feature, and it's called categories. Categories are folders or containers that allow you to organize your music, as the name implies, into categories. So let me show you how to use categories because they're very important uh, later on in this Sam Broadcaster course because you're going to be creating something called events. Events are um, schedules, which allows you to uh, create time slots for Sam Broadcaster to go into the categories that you create to play the content within those categories. And I think this all will become clear to you in the next video. So right now, let's learn about categories. Right now, we're looking at my SAM Broadcaster uh, configuration here in my layout. I'm on desktop A. And in the previous video, I showed you how to set up your desktop to look like mine. And if you've done that, it will greatly assist you in following along in these videos. The window down here entitled Playlist, uh, this is where you're going to be creating your categories. And if you first install SAM Broadcaster, you're going to see that uh, SAM Broadcaster creates for you uh, categories. Now, when you first launch SAM Broadcaster, this is probably all you're going to see. Uh, a star that says Content, Special, and Groups. Anything above Content up here, do not place anything in there. In fact, anything you see above Content, go ahead and delete it because you'll never use that. Don't put anything inside a playlist. You're going to create all of your categories with inside the content star. So if you double click on this content star, Sam Broadcaster creates categories for you. And I don't use all these categories, but they're here by default. Music, sound effects, station IDs, jingles, promos or promotions, advertisements, news, interviews, and other. And you can create your own categories. Now, this is what I do. Under the music category, I create subcategories, and this is where I place all of my music. So right now, there's nothing within the music category because I haven't created any categories or subcategories under music. Now, on my radio station, Rip Radio Smooth Jazz, I do uh, smooth jazz, classical jazz, acid jazz, deep house. And so I'll create categories under this music category. Do not place anything inside music all. So when you see that, ignore it. You're going to focus on this right here. So to create a category, and I want separate categories for my station, you follow suit to your taste. Right-click on the music category and select New and give your category a name. So I'm going to call mine first category Smooth Jazz. And then I'll come over again and I'll create another category and I'll call this one Acid Jazz. Right click again, New, and we'll call this Classic Jazz. And again on that music folder, right click, New, and I'll call this Deep House. So I have four categories under the music category. And it's going to be within these directories that I'll be uploading my music. And I'll show you that in a few moments. Next, uh, I have some station IDs that I run. So I'm going to come down to where it says station IDs. I'm going to expand this out. And again, don't place anything inside station IDs all. Click on that station IDs folder and right click, select new and create a folder called station IDs or station ID, whatever you want to call it. Just like that. Now, um, our next step is to upload music into each of these categories. And again, 
The purpose of creating categories is to organize your music files because you're going to set up an event or you're going to schedule an event to go to these directories to pull music out of them and play them at particular times. Let's say, for example, I wanted to play smooth jazz, say from 4 a.m. in the morning until 4 p.m. in the afternoon. Well, I'll set up an event or schedule an event so that that event will go into this directory and play those songs within this directory from that time slot. Let's say from 4 p.m. until 8 p.m. I'll play acid jazz. Well, I'll set up an event for this directory to go in and play the songs within that directory from 4 p.m. until 8 p.m. And the same thing for the other ones. So in other words, when you create a category, you're going to create an event for each category. In this example, I have one, two, three, four, five categories. So I will create five events. And you see the events in the next video. So right now, let's go ahead and upload some music into these uh, categories. So to do that, you will click on the folder there, highlight it, come down here where you see that plus symbol and pull it down. And you can add all the music that you have in a category on your desktop someplace or on your computer to go into that folder. Or you can select the files. What I've done, I'm a very organized person. I've created categories on my desktop to match the names of each of these categories here. I'm going to select Add Directory. I'm going to navigate to the location where I have all my music. Video Music Directory and Smooth Jazz right there. So this is on my external hard drive and everything inside that directory. That's all my Smooth Jazz music. So I'm going to highlight that and click OK. And as you can see here, all the music files in that directory are being imported into this category. Yeah, there are about 3,000 songs in there. Okay, if I click on this category, you can see down here, all those files have been imported into Sound Broadcaster. And as you can see here, it says there's 3,170 tracks or songs. Next, let's do Acid Jazz, not so many. So I'll select that and click on the plus icon, add directory, navigate to my Acid Jazz folder right there. Select that, click OK. And it imports all the songs within that folder into the Acid Jazz category. And here they are, 79 tracks. Next, Classic Jazz. Select that, click on the plus icon, add directory, Navigate to my classic jazz directory, select it, click OK, and it imports those songs. It's about 201 songs there. And there they are. Next, Deep House. In this case, my Deep House songs are pretty large, so I'm going to go ahead and import just one. So I'm going to select Add Files. And I'm going to navigate to that directory again, Deep House, and I will select just one of them. And there it is. And lastly, my station IDs, which I created under the station ID category. So I'll select that folder. Again, don't use that right there. Use the folder. Highlight it, click the plus symbol, add directory. And my station IDs are right there. And click OK. And they're there. They're important. OK, so I've created my categories. All my music is organized into all the different categories. And my next step now is to create an event for each of these categories. And that will be the subject of the next video.